Hi, I want to show you something that we've learned that's really working well in the shop that I think you're really going to like. When I was at the Tucson Gym Show, I met a lovely man from Kathmandu, Nepal, and he had these wonderful backs that he was using. So I bought these. I call them tubes, but I don't know what they are. These are the silver ones, and they're all, as you can see, they're all decorative and engraved. And, but I bought them because my customers have been complaining about they love the bowl, the bulky, the chunky necklaces, but they don't like the weight and they don't like the crunchiness around their back. So, I mean, around their back of their neck, of course, is what I mean. So this is what we're using now. This is an example of it. Actually, this is one of his pendants. No, it's not ivory. This is the Virgin of Guadalupe and it's carved bone out of water buffalo bone. So this is an example of what it looks like in silver. Isn't this lovely? And it really fit well around the back of your neck. Here's an example of it. This is the pink jade. This is another example, but this is in 22 karat gold over brass. So it's always going to be like this, bronze. Now here's a cool trick that you're also going to like. Not only is it not bulky, and not only does it have less weight, but we can still make an extender. So if you're saying that's a little shorter than I want, we can still put a little extender right across the back because of the lobster claw and back. But isn't this a pretty example of it? So here's another one. This is again in silver. This is amethyst, of course, and this one really is a crunchy necklace, as you can see, because I wanted to match the amethyst uh, druzy that's on here with the silver, so we put silver around it. But look how nice it looks now without having this kind of like sticky little stuff all the way around. So this is all amethyst, and then it's got the silver back. And I always like to look at the back of these. His are beautiful on the back, just in case you were wondering. But that's the way they look. Now, this is another example. Look at this one. I love this piece. This happens to be one of the Dolores favorites, as you can see. These are real pearls. And as you can see, they're really kind of crunchy. They're done with lemon quartz. But look, there it is again, this wonderful, there's no way you're gonna want all that on the back of your neck, right? But everybody likes a triple strand. I don't know, it's just got enough bulk to it that it's not too bulky. Sometimes five's a little bit too much, but that's just about enough. And then this one, look at this little stunning piece. So we have six of them right now. This, is that beautiful? Yes, I know it matches my hair and I love it too. But this one, there is, this is, has enough weight on it right now without adding anything to it. It's faceted, it's blue um, agate, and it looks really great on. So here's the last one, and I'm wearing it just to give you an example of what it is. This is my, well, not, I say they're all my favorites because they're my girls, right? So here is the, the actually the rutilated quartz, which is one of the most valuable stones I carry. And this is it with just a double strand again instead of a triple because these are pretty substantial pieces. They're all faceted. But here it is with just this little, and it's not even an extender, it's a part of the necklace. So as you can see when I was wearing it, you still get a sort of a peekaboo look at the gold on the sides, but it really doesn't draw anything away from the necklace at all. These are all on our website. You've got to go look at them. You're going to love them, and you're going to see more and more of this. And if you have some designs that you want to have remade, I can also, because I bought lots of these, put those on the back of your necklaces too. So let me know what you think. I'd love to hear your opinion of these. Thanks.